Well, we begin this news hour with breaking news. The German government says tests conducted on Russian opposition figure Alexei Navalny have revealed unequivocal proof that he was poisoned last month with a chemical nerve agent. The prominent Kremlin critic fell ill during a flight to Moscow. He's in a serious but stable condition at a hospital in Berlin where he was brought from Siberia 10 days ago. A German government spokesman says toxicology tests on blood samples show the chemical used is from the Novichok group of nerve agents. Doctors who treated him in Russia say they found no evidence of poisoning. Well, in a moment, we'll cross to Moscow for reaction from there. But first, our correspondent Nadim Barber joins us live from London, where he's been following developments in Germany. Nadim, I see that um, Heiko Maas, the German foreign minister, is now insisting on a Russian investigation. That's right. The, uh, the German government has reacted very swiftly uh, and uh, very uh, toughly to this uh, news from the uh, military uh, laboratory in Germany. Heiko Maas, the foreign minister, has said, we condemn this attack in the strongest possible terms, leaving no room for doubt that the Germans believe this was a deliberate poisoning of uh, Alexei Navalny. Uh, Heiko Maas has summoned the Russian ambassador to Germany for talks, and he's called for uh, who, those responsible to be found without actually suggesting who they might be. Mm. But it's clear that the Germans are very, very unhappy about this and very clear about what they think has happened. Of course, uh, earlier in the day, uh, a spokesperson for Chancellor Angela Merkel had said that this uh, military laboratory in Germany had found, quote, the doubtless presence of uh, a, a poison, or rather an agent, from the Novichok group. Um, and of course, that's come um, after tests um, from Mr. Navalny, who has been in an induced coma in the Charité uh, Hospital in Berlin now for some while. I imagine, Nadim, in London, this must all be reviving memories of Sergei Skripal's poisoning back in 2018. Of course, that's what people will think of when they hear the word Novichok. It's a Soviet-era nerve agent, um, and it was found to have been used on Sergei Skripal, a former Russian, uh, a former Russian spy, and his daughter in southwest England two years ago. Now, they were both ill, but in fact, the um, substance ended up killing a member of the public who happened to find a container containing some of the leftover uh, agent, uh, just, uh, if you like, on the streets. Uh, and all along, Russia uh, denied any involvement in that, even though the British authorities actually identified the two Russian men who they think actually carried out the attack. And it caused a lot of uh, alarm, almost panic, particularly in the city of Salisbury, where the attack happened, because for months, uh, the authorities couldn't tell people exactly what had happened and where the substance had gone. So, yeah, it really is a worrying situation. Nadine Barber in London for us. Thank you so much, Nadine. Well, let's now move over to Alexandra Stoyanovich Godfoy to get the view from Moscow. Alexandra, this has all happened, I know, just over the last hour or so, but I, I see we are already getting some pushback from the Kremlin. Yes, exactly. Whilst uh, the German reaction was swift, here the reactions are uh, cautious and uh, restrained uh, in a way. So Ministry of Foreign Affairs responded by saying that Russia is still waiting for a uh, German uh, Prosecutor General Office to respond to their request. Uh, and their request was to send all the results of the analysis that were uh, done to Navalny also to state, for instance, what was the level of his cholinesterase in the plane. So before he arrived into Germany in German clinic, wanting all these details. Um, and a member of a Russian parliament, he's actually a head of the Russian uh, Committee for Foreign Affairs in the parliament, he said that Russia is very willing to cooperate, but these statements coming from Germany have to be followed with some solid and concrete uh, proof. So the situation now is that from the authorities, the reaction is still restrained, but uh, we heard before uh, that uh, the Russian doctors found no poison. They actually released Navalny with the diagnosis of metabolic disorder, mm -hmm. disorder of carbohydrates, and uh, that two labs in, in Russia didn't find anything suspicious, and the investigation, which is actually in a pre-investigative state, didn't find any reason to um, think of any, any foul play. On the other hand, opposition is uh, 
saying in one voice, we knew it, all the symptoms were there. Mm -hmm. And uh, a friend of Navalny and his colleague, Ivan Zhdanov, uh, tweeted that uh, using Novichok is actually like signing the crime, uh, saying that it can only be used by certain state organizations, uh, namely by, for instance, military intelligence or uh, the uh, state security uh, service. So the opposition is pointing fingers and they're pointing fingers at the authorities. Well, I want to ask you more about that, Alexandra, because as Nadim was saying, the Novichok group of agents was what was used on Sergei Skripal back in 2018. And then it was linked to the military intelligence agency, the GRU. So does that now make it more difficult for the Kremlin to distance itself from this? Well, yes, it does. But if we go back to the Skripal case, uh, even though Scotland Yard identified two suspects and uh, journalists also identified them as members of the military intelligence, Russia denied it. They said these are two Russian tourists. They were completely innocent. They were sightseeing in Salisbury. We saw an um, infamous interview with these uh, two people uh, claiming they have nothing to do with anything. And this is a sort of a pattern that we are seeing that when uh, some other state accuses Russia of some power play of poisoning their opponents or double agents, like in the uh, case of Skripal, Russia is saying it is not us or there is no evidence and you have to provide us with solid proof and what you are giving us is not solid proof. So it wouldn't be surprising if we get such answer now in this case. Mm -hmm. Alexander Stoyanovich Godfoy there for us in Moscow. Thank you so much, Alexandra.